Council. Um, I represent uh, about 12 or 15 organizations from the Brightmoor area. We call ourselves the Northwest Neighborhood Community Benefits Coordination uh, coordinate, uh, Consortium. rather. And uh, the co-chair with me is Alicia George, who couldn't be with me this morning. But I have with me Doug Dillard, who is a member of the Miller Grove Block Club. Um, back in April of 2014, we began to negotiate with the Meyer Corporation uh, around community benefits for the new store at McNichols and Grand River. Um, besides being involved in uh, events in our own neighborhood, uh, we felt that as longtime stakeholders, we had something to say, the right to say something about development in our neighborhood. Uh, we came to the table, we got them to come to the table late, uh, but we were able to press them to uh, do away with the box on their application forms that uh, require you to say you had a prior conviction. We pressed them to hire members from our neighborhood uh, organizations and the zip codes around, and we pressed them to have their interviews in our neighborhood. And the initial results are good. Out of 325 people hired, 321 are from Detroit, and 75 to 80 percent of those are from the zip codes around the the, the store. All the while we were doing this, we were also watching and waiting for this body to support us. We had the support of our individual council person, council person Tate and his staff, but we were watching and waiting for your support in the form of the passage of a community benefits uh, ordinance. I have to say that a year and a half later, we are still watching and we are still waiting. Uh, we have the right to have a say in the development in our neighborhoods. We're not just fodder for billionaires. We just don't have to say thank you. And so we ask you to pass this ordinance. We deserve a vote, and we'd like the vote by the end of this year. We realize there's some revisions that need to take place, but we deserve a vote, and we ask you to do that for us. Thank you. Um, let me just say that <clears throat> I am the sponsor of the Community Benefits Agreement Ordinance and that it will be resurfacing back very soon. Um, and so I will be talking to my colleagues as it will be coming back to the table for us to look at and to um, do whatever amendments that we need to make of that um, ordinance and, and either vote it up or vote it down. So it will be coming back soon. Our neighborhood organizations would really appreciate Madam that. Chair. Thank you. Council President Pro Tem Cushenberry Jr., followed by Member Castaneda Lopez. I, I do think you ought to read the state law that prohibits us from doing it so that That's you know. With all due respect, Council Person. Let me finish. Okay. You, you do need to read that state law, and then that way you'll know that if we do adopt something, that it will have to conform with the state law. Yes, we understand that, and uh, we understand that. Uh, that you received a, a, a memo from uh, Mr. Whitaker's office outlining those changes. We're just asking that you take a look at those suggestions and act on it. Member Castaneda Lopez. Thank you. I just wanted to thank you for coming out and speaking to that issue. I get asked on a weekly basis, if not more frequently, about the community benefits agreement. And we also would like to see it be pulled to schedule a, a conversation or a public hearing about it. So, And we know there's restrictions that have been placed with the state law, but do you think it's something that's still feasible for us to um, legislate at the city level? So I'm 100% supporter, support having that conversation as soon as possible, and appreciate all the work community groups have done to keep the conversation alive. So thank you. Thank you. That's good news. Thank you. Member Tate. Thank you, Madam President. Ms. Hickey and uh, Mr. Dillard, I appreciate your efforts. Um, what happened over in the uh, Old Redford, uh, Brightmore area was phenomenal. Um, it was something that was done as a result of the, the teamwork of folks, just general individuals from the community. Um, and we probably will be um, hard-pressed to find something like that happen again. I mean, we have to give credit to Meyer Corporation as well for being uh, uh, good corporate citizens. Um, but I want to let you know, you know that I support your efforts wholeheartedly, but I wanted you to know that I'm not an anomaly in that support. Um, for the most, in the communication with my colleagues, we are steadfastly moving forward towards getting that ordinance. We have some things we have to work out uh, behind the scenes. Um, we're talking about thresholds and things of that nature. Um, but I agree with you. We, it'd be nice to get that off the table for this year. But I would let you know that the support from this body, it's been really the council president has been driving this for some time. 
and we support her in their efforts. We thank the council president and we thank your, you for your support. It's been there from the beginning and we look forward to, as I say, a vote up or down. And let me just also say that the state law does not prohibit community benefits agreement completely. There are some things in the state law that um, we have to look at when it comes to community benefits agreement, but it does not prohibit us doing a community benefits agreement. That would be our understanding and hope as well. Thank, Thank you. you. Kathy, Kathy